everyone, how's it going? It's me, County Shadow 24 and welcome to a brand new episode of Terraria for the 3DS. As always, if you like what you see, please don't hesitate to leave a like down below and comment your thoughts on today's video. But without further ado, let's get into what we are going to be doing today. So, off camera, I decided to gather the, <laughs> gather the materials needed for... Uh, for the mechanical eye so that we can face the twins. So that's what we are going to be doing today. That's one thing that we're going to be doing today. Uh, the other thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a volcano in the corruption because I need soul of knights and so the only way to get them is through monsters in the corruption. So that's why I've decided we're going to be making a volcano in the corruption. So. If you guys uh, enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like. I think I've already said that. I apologize. But anyway, um, we've got to figure out where we want to build this thing. I want to build it in one of these chasms here because that'll make things a little easier. Um, possibly, oh, there's a soul of knights right there. Cool. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I didn't even mean to go in there. Let's get rid of these blink roots. We do not need those. There you go. Soul of Night. Okay, there you go. Did I say Soul of Light earlier? I meant Soul of Night. Anyway, we're gonna build it here, so uh, hopefully this is a good place. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of empty space over to the left there, so that's a little worrisome because uh, enemies can spawn in there, but I think I'll open up this... Uh, whatever you call it, piece of land, I suppose, and we'll make that uh, see the light of day, I suppose, and then we can just make the volcano drop down into this area here, so that if they do spawn over there, then it's totally fine. Um, but I'm gonna have to block this up and all this down here as well, uh, so that enemies don't spawn in there, because we only want them to spawn near the volcano, that's all. That's the only place we want them to spawn. Um, and of course I have to get rid of this area here, uh, but we can kind of avoid that by building a little higher up, such as over here, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Oh, actually, up here seems nice. Yeah, what about up here? This is a good place to do it. Um, or maybe a little higher, I don't know, right here, possibly? Possibly up here? I'm not sure. Up here seems good, in my opinion. So yeah, we're gonna do it from here. What is this? Oh, that's part of one of the corruption enemies or whatever. Menaces, as I like to call them. So yeah, anyway, I think I'm going to kind of carve this area off camera and then uh, while I'm doing it, I will face the twins for you guys. So I'll meet you guys by the arena just outside the little town that we've created over the past few weeks. All right, everyone, welcome to the surface. Of course, we are here to take on the twins. But first of all, before we can do that, we need to obviously make the mechanical eye. So let's do this thing. I am so ready. Not really. I'm actually kind of worried. Uh, just like the last uh, bus fight against Skeletron Prime, we are going to be using our Deadly Scythe, or whatever it's called. Death Sickle, that's what it's called. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be using this because, like I mentioned, uh, stacking these purple things can deal maximum damage, which is always helpful. So yeah, anyway, let me grab this and put that where it belongs. What else do we need? Oh, here we go, I have a life fruit. There you go, we'll take that. Hey, look guys, we're at maximum health now. Can I go any higher than that somehow? I'm not sure. Maybe an expo expert mode or something? I have no idea. But anyway, I'm gonna save real quick. If we had the materials to make an iron skin potion, that would make things much easier. But if you didn't know already, we have the hellowed armor, so uh, hopefully that will negate quite a bit of attack without the need for an iron skin potion. But of course, an iron skin potion would give us a great advantage uh, if we had one. Just really quick, what does it take to make one? Daybloom, iron ore, okay, we can use lead ore for that, um, and bottled water. I might actually have some lead ore, I'm not sure exactly, it doesn't look like it. Let's just really quick, we'll have a look, just super quick, um, right in here, there you go. Iron ore, or lead ore, of course, anyone is fine with me, there's obsidian, hellstone, doesn't seem to be any lead ore, although I feel like I saw some I feel like I saw some when I was emptying out some 
items out of my inventory. So let's go have a look here. Iron ore, there you go, perfect. Not lead ore, but whatever works, I suppose. And of course we needed day bloom and bottled water, and I know exactly where to get bottled water. I'm pretty sure I have a whole chest full, or at least half a chest full. Uh, but let's see, day bloom. It doesn't look like I have any. I feel like I must have some somewhere, you know? I mean, Daybloom comes from the whole world, you know? It'll be hard to believe if I don't have a single Daybloom. So let's check in here. Daybloom, where are you? You don't seem to be anywhere. What about in here? Nope, not in here either. Wow, this is unusual, isn't it? None in there, of course. That's my block chest. Uh, Daybloom. Where could you be? I'm in need of your assistance. Uh, I guess we don't have any. Are these Daybloom seeds? Oh, what the heck. Come on. Yeah, those are Daybloom seeds. So that means we must have some. I don't see any anywhere. I feel like I... I feel like I'm seeing them, but I'm not seeing them, if that makes sense. I feel like they're in front of my eyes, but I'm not seeing them, of course. Um, so yeah. Oh, here we go! Day bloom! Awesome! Okay, sweet! Now all we need is some bottled water, which is easy to find. Uh, at least I'm hoping it will be, because I'm pretty sure I saw it down in this floor somewhere. There's gotta be some. Either that or it's on the top floor, which would make a lot of sense. So let's go up to the top floor and let's check there. Yep, here you go. Okay. Bottled water, awesome. Wow, we might actually be able to make quite a lot of these. So let's go here. Um, what do I need to make this? Workstation, I have everything needed. I guess I have to stand there? There you go, now we can make it. Okay, so we can make iron skin potion and uh, other iron skin potion. Apparently there's two versions of it. That's weird. I wonder if that means I could use both of them. Hmm. We'll have a look, won't we? Do they stack? Yeah, they stack. Okay, I guess we won't be able to then. Fair enough! Okay. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, come on, please get off. There you go. I think this calls for a celebration, and by that I mean a battle against the worst person in existence. Did you guys just see the moon disappear? That was weird. Anyway, let's save and continue. I'm sorry, I've wasted enough of your guys' time. All right, ladies and gents, it has finished saving, finally. So, what we gotta do is we'll get our iron skin potion. I drank two by accident, but whatever. Um, and our regeneration potion, of course, because that can come in handy. And just really quick, what does this do? Immunity to poison and bleeding, okay. Immunity to darkness. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem like we have anything all that interesting, to be honest. We have lightning boots, charm of myths, honeycomb, sparkly wings, and obsidian shield, if you wanted to know. Uh, so yeah, let's just get on with this. Let's do it. There you go. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the Death Scythe because these stack, and that's absolutely wonderful. The only problem is uh, trying to get these guys to come near me, I suppose. Um, but at least I can, at least I can kinda swing behind me, I suppose, if that makes sense, because of these things, uh, you know, coming out from behind me or whatever, or from, whatever, you guys understand, I hope. <laughs> Never mind, I don't wanna explain what you guys are already seeing. Okay, come on, come on. There you go, the spasmatism, he really does not like us. Okay, you big jerk, please stop that, that would be nice. Okay, we're gonna do this, okay, let's lure him over here. Oh darn, they disappeared too quickly, that's fair enough. I have some potions, by the way, if you guys are wondering, so don't worry too much about me dying. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is bad, this is really bad. Okay, death, death is upon me, okay, oh, oh boy, use that, there you go. You gotta be really careful here. Oh my goodness. The iron skin potion clearly is not enough here. If we can just kill him really quickly, that'd be nice. Oh darn, come on, that was so bad. We were so close, whatever. At least we know uh, that we're sorta capable of taking him on. I think I wanna go for uh, the one that isn't Spaz Master next time, if that makes sense. So just really quick, let's gather these for ourselves, and let's see what it takes to make another one, because I might actually be able to make another one. I'm not sure, though, uh, to be honest. So let's see. 
I can! I can make another one! Okay, brilliant! I don't know where the moon is right now, but whatever. It's totally fine. I'm going to wait a moment uh, for... Uh, how, how do I say this? For us to heal. There you go. Sheesh, you'd think, I, you'd think English isn't my first language or something by the way I talk. Oh my goodness. I grew up in New Zealand. I should know English pretty well, but whatever. Whatever floats my goat, I suppose. Anyway, uh, let's see. We have what it takes to make another iron skin potion, so that's really cool. We can actually make quite a few. Let's see what else we can make. Um, actually, not important. You know what? You know what we should do? We should actually see, um, we should see if we have any accessories that can benefit us. Okay, here you go. This will benefit us greatly. Um, what else do we have? We have quite a lot of good stuff, you know? But, huh. That gives us plus one defense. What does this other one give us? Movement speed. Okay, I'd, I'd honestly... Uh, I'd rather have defense, to be completely honest, so let's get rid of that, and... God, I don't know where I am right now. Okay, there you go. We'll grab the defense one. Um, hmm. Any over here? Let's see. Oh, come on, wrong button again. I was trying to look at that. Increases movement speed after being struck. Okay, that's not important at all. We've got a bunch of cloud in a bottles and whatever. Uh, hello key? I don't know what the hello key is even for. It's not really important right now. Um, what about, what about over here? This is where I put all of my solar eclipse stuff once I was done. Uh, immunity to silence. Okay. Doesn't seem all that important. What kind of debuffs do, do the twins give me? I'm just wondering here. Oh! Range damage. Is that, does that count for... I assume it doesn't count for the purple stuff that my scythe gives off. That has melee damage written all over it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about those. What else do we have here? I'm sorry I'm wasting everyone's time here. I'm just, you know, having a look. I really want to beat this guy. Okay, come on, there you go. He doesn't get off the rope as easily anymore. I don't know what's going on with that. Nothing there. Anything important here that I can use? Not really. Wait, what was that what was that blue thing? I assume it has something to do with mana. Yep, mana, I said for some reason. Mana! Immunity to slow. Uh, increases arrow speed and damage. Okay, no thanks. Man, I really don't have all that interesting stuff here. Not really. Oh, this can come in handy. Let's grab that. There you go. That might actually really come in handy. It's so OP, guys. Super OP. Oh, me oh my. I have no idea where the moon is right now, but let's just hope that it's somewhere super high. I don't know, but anyway, let's grab ourselves uh, this iron skin potion. I'll drink that up, and we'll put this on. Actually, I need that. Goodness. Uh, huh, what do I get rid of? Life generation, obsidian shield. Okay, I guess we'll get rid of that. I don't know, man. Okay, there you go. And... Uh, I'm so, I'm so scared. Poison and bleeding. Darkness, right, I forgot. Okay, okay. Place a bunch of these down. Bada bing. Bada boom, there you go. And now we'll summon this fool. Oh no, there's a wyvern. Immediate wyvern. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't deal with you right now. Oh, what horrible timing, stupid wyvern. Okay, whatever. Okay. We gotta be really, really careful here not to get spasmatism down first. Okay, come on now. There you go. Come on, Re Retinazer, or whatever your name is. It'd be great if he could follow me. There you go, that's what I wanted. Way to go, dude. Way to go! Not you, spasmatism. Nobody likes you. You're too strong. Okay, okay, I guess I'll go after him. I'll go after whichever one I want. Oh, I should really be luring them underneath the Nimbus clouds. There you go. Oh, this is what I want! The Rain Mazer or whatever. Okay, 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 okay. Or Ritonazer, that's what it's called. I'm sorry, I keep saying Rain Mazer. I keep thinking that T is an I. <laughs> uh, jeez. Oh no! Spasmatism! Why? Why would you do such a thing to us? Okay, there you go. Oh, jeez, this guy is insane. Look at him. Okay, okay, I'm switching to this one now. These guys are way too fast for me! Oh, darn! We are so close to beating 
that spasmatism. It's so difficult. This is like facing two bosses at once, guys. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm going to hand it back to my past self, and I'll show you guys, um, the, the, uh, excavated cavern that I am creating, I suppose. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Alright everyone, welcome back. So, I actually haven't been doing some excavating, I've been doing some filling in, because I realized that, um, you guys saw the mini volcano that I made just over to the right there. Uh, you'll see it fully shortly, but I realized that, um, obviously, the corruptors fly, so they can't go up ramps like with the usual volcanoes that I make. So, I decided to just make a hole in the ground because I did a little bit of uh, experimenting and I found out that if you're in a hole, then they'll try and fly into that hole. So if we go over here, this is the volcano that I have created. I really don't know what to call it. Maybe a sinkhole? Yeah, let's call it a sinkhole. That sounds cool. It's like a alternative uh, volcano. But anyway, uh, the corruptors basically fly around and then they, you know, catch a whiff of me or whatever. And then they fly down here because I'll be standing in here and they'll be trying to get at me because that's what they want to do. So, we're going to do this and I'm going to do that for when we want to grab the lava back. You guys will see what I mean shortly. Uh, but anyway, let's actually change this back to stone bricks because it looks cooler that way. So there you go. Okay, so now I have my bucket of lava right here. We just gotta drop her down and there you go. As you can see, um, well, you guys saw for a moment there, the corruptor kind of flew into it a bit. So basically you've kind of got to fill it up a little bit more than this. I'm not sure if items burn or not. I still haven't, you know, figured that out or not. It takes a while. But, you know, it gets the job done, and obviously if a Soul of Night decides to drop it from one of them, then of course, um, gosh this guy's annoying, then of course it will kind of suck into you or whatever, so that's really cool. I'm thinking of maybe making this a little longer, I'm not sure, possibly that could work, I'm not sure though, uh, but yeah, let's just wait for this Corruptor to come back down and, you know, do his business or whatever. Oh, this is a new one! Okay, we gotta wait for him a bit. They kind of fly away after a while because, you know, they decide, oh, I can't get to him, so I guess I'll just fly upwards a little bit and then I'll come back down. Whoa! That guy got murdered or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically how it works. But anyway, the reason why I made this hole here is because I can do this and then it'll fill the lava in, as you can see. And then we just grab it with the bucket once it's done. Uh, so yeah, it's done now. Grab it with the bucket and now we can leave. Uh, because you can't grab it if uh, it's really thin, like you guys saw before. So yeah, that's basically how that works. What was I about to do just now? I can't remember. Oh yeah, we were going to make it a little bit longer. Uh, so yeah, I decided that it wasn't really entertaining to show off me building this. So I just showed you the end result. So I apologize if you wanted to watch me, you know, build stuff in for some reason. I'm not sure why you would want that, but you know. Uh, so yeah, I apologize, but I decided it wasn't exactly worth it. But anyway, we're gonna do this, and I think what I'm gonna do is just to show that this part up here is the part that you go through, what we're gonna do is I'm going to do this, and we'll fill this in like so as you can see there, and then we'll keep this bit open so that we know uh, what to do and, you know, you guys understand what I mean. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fill this in. We're gonna make this the wall, of course. So we'll do that. And then what I'm gonna do is this can be, uh, let's see, what can we do? All right, this can be kind of a tunnel or whatever for when we want the lava back to to ourselves or whatever. So we're gonna do this and then like a so. And then we just have to do that and then we when we want the lava back, we can just do that and then bada bing bada boom, it falls in this area right here. So yes, that's all fine and dandy just in case I'll do an extra one. Uh, you know, just in case something happens. I'm sorry that there's so many blocks just chilling out everywhere all over the place. I'll get rid of something. We get rid of this unicorn horn there. And what else shall we get rid of? This hook. I really don't need the hook and I don't know why I have so many of them all the time. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna do this. Just make the floor 
this can be the building, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a cool little lounge area down here. I'm not sure. Probably not, actually. But, I don't know. It might be something fun. There you go. Okay. And we'll just place these down. So, yeah. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. But, you guys will just have to tell me in the comment section because I have to end the episode now. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. What do you guys think? I hope you like it as much as I am proud of it. Let's just quickly place these back down. There you go. So here you go. It's doing its job here. Very nice. And we can, of course, just grab the stuff that they drop. So that's very nice. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I do want to end with a question though. Does increasing the height of this lava here, will that burn the items? Should it only be as tall as, as tall as it is now? Or can I go higher to, you know, do more damage to other folks? Uh, comment down below. I would greatly appreciate your input. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Terraria for the 3DS. Peace out.